My plan for this video is to work out what compression ratio I've got with this uh, new with this Triumph Daytona 500 piston in. As you can see, the the top of the the dome of the piston extends a long way above <clears throat> the top, and I suspect I'm going to have to put a a spacer under the bottom of the barrel here. So I've leveled the I've leveled the the top of the barrel with. Uh, using this level here, I've leveled it front to back, side to side more or less, so I know that's right. Um, then I am going to move, uh, I've measured the height of the piston above the deck with a depth mic here, which I'll record later. And then I'm going to wind down, this is at top dead centre, here, and then I'm going to wind it down just to keep it easy. I'm going to wind it down flush to the top of the barrel. Like so. So I know now that the piston is uh, as far down, whatever this measurement is, is as far down below there. And now I'm just going to fill it up with oil to level, see how much oil that takes. And this, hopefully, well, I've got these measurements, well, I know the, I know the bore. Hopefully this is not going to seep past the rings. So there, that is full to the top. And then I'm going to extract that oil with this. I know I'm doing it kind of backwards, but I, I think this should work just as well. Okay, so that is however much is that. We bring this up to the top, uh, which is about there. So that is almost, it's exactly 30 millilitres. 30 millilitres, 30 millilitres. Put that back. So from the other distances I've got, I should work, work out what the, I know what the theoretic, if it was a flat top, and I know how far down the piston was, I know what the theoretical volume of the cylinder would be, so I can subtract one from the other, that should give me the dome. I know the bore, and I know the stroke, so the only thing left now is the cylinder head. Actually, I'm just going to... I'm just going to go and get a piece of paper and uh, I'll come back in a second. Measuring there, 
cylinder I will just use a known amount of oil and subtract one from the other so I've got I've got 60 millilitres in here I'm going to fill it up to the top here got a spark plug in it hopefully this will be enough oh, come on there we go So, well, what do you know, it's almost exactly, I'd take a couple of millilitres off, so it's about uh, 58 millilitres. So I'm making a note of that. Let's clear this, empty this out. Uh, 58 so cylinder head 58 millilitres the last thing I need is the head gasket thickness which I have here so I'll just check him Somewhere you can see what I'm doing. So the head gasket is one millimeter. So I think I have everything now on my list of numbers. I think I've got everything to work out what the compression ratio is. I know that the, the deck height is 17 millimeters. I know that when it's 17 millimeters down, that the that, that holds 30 millimeters. I just need to look up the stroke and I've got everything. I can do the calculation. Let's see how that goes. Just a slight correction there. The deck height is actually zero millimeters. At top dead center, the very edge of the piston is level with the top of the top of the barrel. So these are the numbers um, that I put into a calculator that I found online. Uh, 69 millimeter bore, 96 millimeter stroke. Um, the chamber volume as I measured with the oil there, 58 cc. The head gasket is one millimetre thick and it's slightly bigger than the bore, so 73.7 millimetres, the, the, the inner circle of the of the head gasket. Um, I've added in the, the deck clearance of 2.5 millimetres here and this is um, effectively as, as if I had a 2.5 millimetre spacer at the bottom of the barrel and that's given me uh, a compression ratio of around 10.5 to 1, which is kind of where I'm aiming 11 is too high so kind of anywhere between 10 and 11 I think is is okay um so yeah I've get without the without the spacer at the bottom without the 2.5 millimeter spacer the, the the compression ratio came out very nearly 14 like 13.7 so so yeah too high so uh yeah I'm going to um make a spacer I'll do that off camera and um Hopefully I'll have a kind of usable compression ratio. I had a few people that were wondering about the, um, the accuracy of my small end reaming. So I got a bit of 
um, ground silver steel here and I've checked it on the surface plate and it seems to be flat. I can't get uh, I can't get um, a t the smallest feeler gauge through it. One tail feeler gauge, I think it is. Uh, so that seems to be dead straight. So I thought I'd just check it, put it in the uh, get a bit of focus going on, put it in the small end. No play in the small end there, and put it on the top here, and then check to see that it's not at an angle. So again, it's this is a what's that? Point oh two four. So two and a half thou um, feeler gauge. Nothing. Nothing. I'm not sure I've got the. Is that the smallest one? 0 0.03, 0 0.024. Okay, so 0 0.024, so two, two and a half, two and a half thou is the smallest one I've got anyway. And uh, yeah, there's, it, it, there's nothing. So people that were worried about this being at an angle and the piston tipping over and all that kind of stuff, I think it's going to be absolutely fine. But thank you for your concern. <laughs>